The U.S. Department of Justice obtained two months' worth of phone records of journalists working for the Associated Press News Organization as part of an investigation into how the AP was informed of an al-Qaeda plot in Yemen before it was released to the public. The DOJ notified the Associated Press in a letter Friday that they had collected phone records of specific journalists at home and at work from AP offices in New York and Washington and Connecticut, all over the place. And on Monday, the AP's top executive responded by calling the Justice Department's actions an unprecedented intrusion into news gathering. Why, Arthur, wouldn't the AP have been notified in advance of this investigation? It seems like just such an incredible amount of information to gather for such a very specific investigation. Right. So, yeah, there's, they're supposed to give news organizations a heads up when they do this kind of thing. Why they didn't in this case, we don't know. But that's part of the reason everyone, there's, there's people are just unanimous. That this is outrageous. Uh, and there's been no explanation whatsoever. So when I, when I said earlier that, you know, Benghazi is the rake, the IRS is the banana peel, and this is the butt fumble, uh, completing the trifecta of terrible Obama administration news. We, we don't know why they were doing this. Uh, but it's it's just outrageous. There's there's no explanation for it. But we did get a response from the Department of Justice. Our colleague Ryan Riley posted it to his Twitter account. Uh, the DOJ says that it values freedom of the press. This has a lot of people snickering and makes efforts yeah. to notify news organizations before subpoenas uh, before it subpoenas phone records unless it quote threatens the integrity of the investigation. You know, I, again, I think a lot of people think this is just language to justify what essentially is, is spying on the press here.